Hola, hola, my name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator, esthetician, and you can see I am here at Stradia HQ once again with Ali Reed, founder, formulator, and mastermind behind Stradia, as well as Vienna, her production supervisor. And as you can see today, we're gonna to be getting a behind the scenes look at what goes on when it comes to making my skincare holy grail, Liquid Gold. It is actually the first launch for Stradia, correct? It was, yeah, that and Rewind were the first two products. What was the, what was, what was your purpose with creating Liquid Gold? What was your focus with that product? Liquid Gold came out of a study I'd read on the ideal ratios of ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids in barrier repair and like, you know, different ratios, different types of fatty acids. Um, and it was just really inspiring to me as someone who was like, had done a lot of stuff to their moisture barrier. Um, so I was trying to formulate something that could mimic and reinforce that natural moisture barrier using that ideal ratio, you know? And so rather than like looking for an, uh, an inky list that included those ingredients and hope they're the right ratio, I could just like make it myself in my sink. So that was how Liquid Gold was born. And what are some of like the hero ingredients in liquid gold that make it so special? So ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids, as I mentioned, those are the three ingredients that make up your skin's natural moisture barrier, which is this sort of like fatty matrix. It's the brick and mortar structure where the bricks are your corneocytes. And then it's this fatty mixture, it's the, mo the mortar holding it together. It's also 4% niacinamide, which is this superstar ingredient that does everything. Panthenol, which I think is one of those like unsung heroes of skincare. I just tried to put everything in it I could that is gonna strengthen and soothe any sort of like irritation or damage to the moisture barrier. And specifically, what is that component that gives liquid gold its golden hue? We will see it later, but that golden color is completely natural. Um, it is from the seed buckthorn oil. We use two types. We use oil from the seed as well as the berry of seed buckthorn. Both of those are bright, bright red. And so without them, it would be a normal white cream. You add those and it turns gold. We can see Vienna working behind us. What are the overall basic components that go into actual manufacturing of the product? With liquid gold, as with most, you know, creamy products, it starts out in two different phases. So there's a heated water and a heated oil phase. Those are kept separate until they get warm enough. Then when they're hot, they are emulsified together with a blender and then that cools down and you add any like heat sensitive ingredients like botanical extracts or preservatives. So we're here at the very, very start of the manufacturing process and what from step one do we see Vienna doing behind us right now? So right now Vienna is measuring out all of the ingredients. So she's starting with the heated oil phase. So those are all of the oil soluble ingredients that can tolerate being heated and then they will be emulsified together. And so why is the heating important for this part specifically? So most creams need to be heated because emulsifiers or emulsion stabilizers are solid at room temperature. So you need to heat them up so that they melt and can be emulsified fully rather than kind of like, you don't want your cream to be chunky, essentially. So at this point, the oil phase and the water phase have separately been mixed and heated. And now we're gonna get into the most fun part of the process. We're going to take the oil phase and mix it into the water phase and start emulsifying it. What is the nitty gritty behind that whole process? So in the oil phase, which has just finished heating and melting, there is the emulsifier, which is a double-sided molecule. One side binds to the oil soluble components, one side binds to the water soluble components. So it creates this emulsion that holds them together in a homogenous way on a molecular level so that you don't get things separating out or, or weeping or leaking out or anything. It just creates this really smooth cream. So here we are now, and the liquid gold mixture has cooled down. It was at, what, 60 Celsius? It's gone up, it was at 60, and now it is well, just below 40. And so now that it's at 40, we can start adding in the, well, not me, not we, Vienna, can start adding in the heat sensitive ingredients into the formulation, and then after that, we go straight into bottling. So at this point, liquid gold has cooled down enough, all the ingredients are added to it, and the bottling comes next. What does that process look like? We have a foot pump operated semi-automatic bottling system. So we can enter the exact number of milliliters down to like 0.01 milliliters that we want it to be filled. And then you just press a pump, it fills that exact amount. 
but it is filled and caps are screwed on by hand by Vienna, who you met earlier, and our wonderful production associate, Ruby. So every bottle of Stradia that you've used has been bottled by Vienna and or Ruby by hand. We saw the batch getting made. How many bottles of liquid gold can one batch make? One batch in our current big boy vessel will make about 1,800 bottles of liquid gold. And how long does it take to bottle that many? Vienna and Ruby have a system down there, a well-oiled machine, and they can do about 500 bottles an hour. And so you mentioned that one big batch of liquid gold equals 1,800 bottles, but that's of the smaller bottles. What's launching this month? We are coming out with a larger size of liquid gold, the most requested thing probably of all Stradia fans. We are coming out with a four ounce jumbo size of liquid gold. Feels like it's as big as your head. So this one will make 900 bottles of the new jumbo size. And it launches September 13th? September 13th. So with that, from start to finish, you saw the entire production run of Liquid Gold and what really happens here behind the scenes at Stradia HQ. Huge shout out to Ali and the team for letting me come in, get the behind the scenes glimpse and tell me all Stradia's secrets. Let me know down below in the comments section what questions do you have for Ali about Stradia, about formulation, about anything. I'll make sure to forward those her way. Ali, is there anything you want to say to the viewers before we log out? I want to give a major shout out to Ramon for being such an amazing Stradia supporter. And I also want to mention that Stradia launched our own YouTube channel where I try to break down skincare myths, delve deep into the skincare science, show you more behind the scenes. So if you liked this, be sure to check out our new YouTube channel at Stradia Skin. Yes, I'll have that link down in the description box. Also, make sure you follow all of Shadia's other socials. I'll have those linked in the description box as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy-related content on my channel. Give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.